The Crew Dragon is a class of reusable spacecraft developed and manufactured by American aerospace manufacturer, SpaceX. The Crew Dragon is capable of carrying up to seven astronauts, or a combination of crew and cargo, into the International Space Station. This video focuses on the history and engineering aspects of the Crew Dragon capsule. Since the Space Shuttle retired in 2011, NASA has collected ideas from private vendors for crew vehicles to transport American and international astronauts to and from the International Space Station. On 18 April 2011, NASA awarded nearly $270 million US dollars to four companies to develop spacecraft to fly astronauts to the space station. After three years of assessment, operational contracts to fly astronauts were awarded to SpaceX and Boeing in September 2014. Four months before this announcement, on 29 May 2014, Musk unveiled the seven-seat Crew Dragon concept during an event at SpaceX's headquarters in California. <laughs> SpaceX Crew Dragon evolved from an earlier design, called Dragon 1, which launched 20 times on missions to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Uh, Dragon version 1 is right above your heads. Uh, in fact, this is the, the first uh, Dragon spacecraft that came back from orbit. And you can see the, the scorch marks on the, on the heat shield, uh, the thrusters that are fired. Uh, it's, uh, it's a real, real spacecraft. The capsule is attached to a trunk section with solar panels, heat removal radiators, and fins to provide stability during emergency aborts. Together, the capsule and trunk stand around 8.1 meters tall, with a diameter of 4 meters. The capsule's interior space is designed in a way that has never been seen before in any spacecraft. SpaceX wanted the Dragon to feel like a 21st century spaceship. One of the most prominent features of Dragon is the touchscreens on the inside. SpaceX designed the touchscreens not just to be very functional, but with user experience in mind. It's something that's very clean, uh, very simple, uh, and uh, so as, a, as the pilot, you were able to interact with the, the, the screens overhead, control the spacecraft, and then we've got all of the critical functions that are needed in an emergency situation as manual buttons. That's what you see in this area here. The custom molded and comfy seating, ample legroom, and high ceiling to avoid the risk of head bumps make the right and unforgettable experience for the astronauts. The Crew Dragon can accommodate seven passengers, though only a maximum of four will fly on the NASA missions. A reusable nose cone and a heat shield protects the capsule during ascent and re-entry. The capsule has eight side-mounted Super Draco engines, each capable of generating 71 kilonewtons of thrust. Super Draco engines were packaged in redundant pairs in four engine pods. In an emergency, Super Dracos will propel the vehicle away from the rocket at an acceleration of 11.8 meters per second square. The launch escape system is triggered either by the automatic rocket failure detection system or by the crew commander manually by pulling a lever. Every pod also contains four Draco propellers that can be used for attitude control and orbital maneuvering. We will be covering more about both Super Draco and Draco engines in the future. So, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos. SpaceX relies on their Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket to launch the spacecraft into orbit. Upon reaching the space station, the capsule conducts a fully autonomous docking procedure to dock with the space station. NASA Docking System, an androgynous spacecraft docking and berthing mechanism, with mechanical latches and ring clamps, helps secure the spacecraft with the station. For typical missions, Crew Dragon will remain docked for 180 days, but is designed to stay on the station for up to 210 days. SpaceX originally intended to land Crew Dragon on land, using the Super Draco engines and parachutes. But, NASA proposed water landing under parachutes as the baseline return and recovery approach for the mission. Initially, SpaceX planned to use new capsules for every crewed flight. But, later NASA and SpaceX both agreed to reuse the capsule, which significantly reduced the cost of production. Now, let's focus on the rigorous tests conducted by SpaceX to mold the Crew Dragon into a 21st century spacecraft. A year after unveiling the Crew Dragon spacecraft, 
SpaceX conducted a pad abort test of a prototype capsule on 6 May 2015 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. The test demonstrated that the eight side-mounted Super Draco thrusters of the capsule can efficiently power the capsule away from a failing rocket while it is still on the ground. After reaching a maximum height of 1,187 meters, Dragon jettisoned its trunk and then deployed both the Drogue and three main parachutes as expected. The vehicle then splashed down safely in the Atlantic Ocean. The same capsule conducted the pad abort test was then reused by SpaceX for a hover test on 24 November 2015. The spacecraft was suspended by a hoisting cable, and the Super Draco engines were ignited to hover the vehicle for about 5 seconds. The eight engines together balanced the capsule at reduced thrust to accurately compensate for gravity. The first orbital test of Crew Dragon, formerly named Crew Demo-1, carried an anthropomorphic test device named Ripley instead of real astronauts. Ripley was accompanied by a super high-tech zero-g indicator, a plush of planet Earth, about the size of a basketball, with an adorably astonished look on its face. The mission was launched on 2 March 2019, atop the SpaceX Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket, and the spacecraft successfully docked with the International Space Station on the next day. The spacecraft tested the approach and automated docking procedures with the station. The capsule remained docked for five days, and on 8 March 2019, the Dragon capsule successfully separated from the space station. Later that day, the capsule re-entered into the Earth's atmosphere and splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean. The capsule was recovered using the GoSearcher SpaceX retrieval vessel and returned to the mainland where it was inspected and the data obtained by the onboard sensors were later analyzed. On 20 April 2019, the Crew Dragon capsule used in the Demo-1 mission was destroyed in an explosion during the Super Draco abort system's static fire. The problem occurred when a small amount of nitrogen tetroxide propellant leaked past a check valve into a helium line used to pressurize the propellant tanks. The Super Draco engine test that failed on 20 April was repeated successfully on 13 November 2019 with necessary spacecraft modifications. Two months later, on 19 January 2020, the Crew Dragon in-flight abort test was launched from Launch Complex 39A on a suborbital trajectory to conduct a separation and abort scenario in the troposphere at transonic velocity. The test goal was to demonstrate the Dragon's ability to move away safely from the rising rocket in the event of an emergency. The Dragon used its Super Draco abort engines to push itself away from the Falcon 9 after an intentional premature engine cutoff. Ten seconds after Dragon was jettisoned, the Falcon 9 exploded and was destroyed. The spacecraft then followed its suborbital trajectory, jettisoned its trunk, and oriented itself for descent using the Draco engines. Later the parachutes were deployed and the capsule splashed down into the Atlantic Ocean. On 17 April 2020, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine announced the Crew Dragon Demo-2 mission, carrying astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the International Space Station. The mission launched on 30 May 2020, a top Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket, marking the first crewed launch to the International Space Station from U.S. soil since July 2011. Doug and Bob named their crew Dragon as Endeavour after the Space Shuttle Endeavour, shortly after the launch. Uh, without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavour. The capsule successfully docked with the International Space Station on the next day. When asked about the ride, Bob Behnken said. Uh, Dragon was uh, huffing and puffing all the way into orbit, and uh, we were definitely driving or riding a dragon all the way up and so uh it was not quite the same ride the smooth ride as the space shuttle was uh up to miko a little bit less g's but a, a little bit more uh, alive is probably the best way i would describe it the capsule remained docked for 62 days before being undocked on 1st august 2020. after re-entry into the earth's atmosphere the spacecraft splashed down off the coast of pensacola florida the next day with the help of a fast boat team, the GO Navigator vessel lifted the spacecraft from the ocean. The astronauts were retrieved from the spacecraft and brought to the onboard medical facility.
SpaceX aims to launch the first crewed operational flight of a Crew Dragon spacecraft on 31 October 2020. The SpaceX Crew-1 mission will carry four astronauts to the International Space Station on board the Crew Dragon spacecraft named Resilience. So, let's wait eagerly for the successful flight of Crew-1 mission. And meanwhile, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more SpaceX-related contents. And as always, thanks for watching.